What's happening, everybody? It's Kangaroo Black again. Hey, I'm coming back to talk about the uh, Texas A&M spring game. Uh, I had to watch it on YouTube today, so. But I did get a chance to watch it. But, uh, hey, they didn't look bad. They, for a spring game, they didn't look half bad, man. Seen a lot of good things from them. But just like any spring game, seen some bad things from them, too. But anyway... The quarterbacks, uh, Max Johnson and Haynes King, man. To, in my opinion, Max Johnson is more impressive than Haynes King. Uh, Max Johnson, he's more accurate throwing the ball, but Haynes King's he he's pretty fast running the ball. The dude is fast. If Haynes if Haynes King was uh, more accurate, I, I I would say he would be the starter right now. Mind you, this is this is the. Uh, just a spring game, so he could be the starter come game one. You you don't know yet. But right now, Max Johnson is more accurate than uh, Haynes King from what I've seen in, in this spring game. Um, what else I said? Uh, Haynes King, uh, you know, it was some turnovers in the game. It was five total turnovers, uh, four picks, and um, one fumble. But uh, – I think uh, Haynes King had three picks and Max Johnson had one, I believe. But uh, but but those most of those picks, they was pop up balls. I only seen one that was an actual interception. You know that the ball wasn't popped in the damn air, or a defender or or a defender and the receiver, you know, wasn't fighting for the ball. But uh, but for but for the most part, they was they was pop up balls and. It, not not the quarterback's fault. I just put it that way. And then, uh, but one Haynes King threw Haynes King threw the ball behind him, behind the receiver, and it got in, intercepted. But uh, but that's that's probably about it with the with the uh, with the with the quarterbacks. They had another guy to come in in the second half. The quarterback he threw a pick too. And then um, uh, I, I think he was the one that threw the pick. He overthrew the guy. The guy was wide open, and he just overthrew him, and uh, the ball got picked off. But uh, for the receivers, they had a lot of drop balls today. So I'm sure they're going to work in that area to get better. I mean, they got some pretty good receivers. But, uh, you know, just a lot of drop balls. But I tell you what, what's his name? That that freshman receiver, um, what's his name? Evan Stewart. That guy is freaking Fast. The dude is that dude is a jet, man. That dude is fast. And um he got good hands too. He got good hands. He can get separation. He burnt this guy. It would have been a touchdown. The guy uh committed a pass interference. But he would have burnt that guy. And then he had he caught another pass. Uh, I think it was for 31 yards. He had to turn and adjust to the ball. So he got he got great. Hand eye coordination. Great speed. He's an all around great receiver. And he's only a freshman. He's one of them five stars that came in. He, he from out of Texas, some damn well. But anyway, he's one of them five stars that uh came in for Texas. And I'm telling you, if he looked it in game one, game two, if he looked like he looked in this spring game, he'll be their number one receiver as a freshman. The guy looked good, man. But like I say, mind you, this is just a spring game. You know, um, also the running game, it didn't look half bad. They had maybe three to four good runs, man. I know they had two long runs, but uh, the running game didn't look half bad. The only thing they got to work on is that O-line. Uh, it was too much pressure getting um, to the quarterback. So they work on the O-line. We, I mean, there's plenty of time to do it. it it's just the spring. They got the whole – Fall camp to work on this stuff, so we all know they're gonna be. They ain't gonna look near what they look this spring game. That they gonna look in the uh, time for the seasons to come. They'll be a whole lot better. But anyway, uh, seemed like to me, uh, Jimbo Fisher got his quarterbacks running a lot more. I don't remember Texas A&M uh, quarterbacks, you know, running. A lot. I don't know if these are called QB runs or whatever, but it looked like to me they was getting pressure and it was taking off. But uh, when they did run, they did a damn good job of it. Um, most of the runs, they got first downs. 
So if you got to run, run. That's all I can say. But Texas A&M, they, they didn't look, they didn't look half bad in this uh, game, man. I mean, mm, but also it was quite a uh, bit of oh, it was overthrown balls and it was underthrown balls. One ball that hit. It was like on the outright, it didn't even make it to the receiver. So it was just like an in-the-dirt uh, throw. But it is what it is, man. But, uh, oh, and also the kicker. The kicker made a 53-yard uh, field goal. So that's another good thing, man. If he can keep that up, it's another good thing. I remember, I don't know if that was the same kicker that made that game-winning field goal against us last year. But, hey, he made a 53-yard in his spring game. So all in all... Texas A&M in this spring game didn't look half bad. Shit, I like what I seen from Mac Johnson this in this spring game. I like what I seen from uh, this this five star freshman Evan Evan Stewart at wide receiver. So, and uh, Haynes King, like I say, if he can get, be continue to work and, and and be accurate with his passes, he might be their starter on, on day one, cause. His, he can get it done with his legs, no problem. But uh, that's pretty much what I saw from uh, Texas A&M. Again, this is only the spring game. This is, this ain't what they're going to look like during the regular season or at the beginning of the season. You know, names names going to change, positions going to change. So and I'm sure they don't have everybody uh, on campus or in practice yet. So... Might have some new names and new phases, faces that's starting come uh, the fall. But we'll see. But like I say, spring game, they didn't look half bad. So I ain't got too much bad stuff to say about uh, about uh, Texas A&M spring game. Now, damn, Auburn, that's another story. That's another story. I've seen bits and pieces of their spring game. They look like straight trash. Hot fucking garbage. Fucking, I seen part of Clemson's the other day. Hot ass. That's what they look like. Hot ass. I mean, but oh well. It is what it is. I might do one on Auburn. So if I can catch something on YouTube with the whole spring game, I'll do one on Auburn. And I, I'm quite sure it won't be good from because from what I've seen, they, they ain't looking too damn good. But anyway. We got Alabama's coming up uh, uh, this week. We got Georgia coming up this week. Uh, who else? We got, we got a few more coming up this week. But anyway, I'm only interested in, in Alabama and Georgia's spring game. Uh, I think Tennessee already played there. I'm not sure. But anyway, I ain't interested anyway. But oh well, uh, like I said, Alabama, Georgia coming up this weekend. Georgia's going to be televised. You have to stream Alabama. That's all I can tell you. But uh, anyway, that's all I got. Roll Tide.